The name Crazy Rock reminds us of chess. Most of us know more or less how to play chess, but against a strong opponent called life we usually lose. Hi, I'm Kian and this is Every Film is Made Twice. I am Iranian and like Iranian films. In this video, I want to talk about the Crazy Rock. Several young people from different social classes have become friends with each other. After a date, they get together, joke with each other, laugh and bet. They keep joking until it turns into a disaster. Suddenly, everything becomes serious and the viewers stunned. Over time, we realize this is another joke and we've been involved in a new plan. We face the joke after that seriousness. Again the joke and this continues until we no longer understand that the scene we are seeing is serious or part of another joke. We lag behind the story and among the scary jokes the only thing we don't think about is laughing. There is a famous Iranian proverb that says they joked but suddenly everything got serious. I only caught the translation into English. And there is a more famous Iranian proverb that says we are responsible for our actions. At the beginning of the film we remember the first and at the end the second. The whole story is placed between these two proverbs. A multi-layered, enigmatic, thrilling and tragic story. Crazy Rook is a tactic in chess. A situation in which rock sacrifices itself to reach equality in the game. Its original name is sacrificial rock. Sacrificing is generally one of the tactics of chess, in which one piece moves to be removed and the positions of the other pieces are improved. Anyway, as the narrator says, he prefers the name crazy rock. Piru's the leading actor has two roles. One, a boy living with his mother in a rented house downtown. Two, the narrator who narrates the story as the third person. When the first Pirus dies, the second Pirus still speaks to us. Pirus, the narrator, is more than a narrator. Has an active role. He fills the gaps in the story, reveals the intentions of the characters, speaks timely and becomes silent timely. In the end, he is the one who concludes. But Pirus, the boy who lives with his mother, is not well characterized. Although he has no money, he is not looking for a job. His relationship with his mother is not clear. He is leaving her alone in trouble. Throughout the story, he is passive and acts more on Masood's plans. His emotional relationship with Mandana remains ambiguous. It is not clear whether he loves her or just empathizes with her. The word Pirus in Persian means winner. Amir Jadidi plays the role. He has recently been nominated for Best Actor at the 74th Cannes Film Festival. He played the main role in Asghar Farhadi's film A Hero. Each of the characters has an unpleasant past. None of them are to blame. None of them are evil. Conditions have made them what they are today. Neither Mandana who is addicted, nor Masud who steals from others, nor Kaveh who is the enemy of his brother, nor Ghazal who is his father. The film surprises the audience, one by the characters and their lies, two by the imaginary scenes that the film itself shows. It seems that the scenes do not have to be just reality. For example, when Pirus goes near that house and sees police cars, we also see police cars. But later we find out that the police haven't gone there. The stranger example is when Mandana confesses to the murder of the watchman. While we all know she did not commit murder, the film shows the scene of the murder of the watchman by her. We lose our confidence not only in what the characters say, but also in what we see on screen. We do not know what we see is reality or fantasy. To be more precise, the film does not surprise us. It actually deceives us. A non-linear narrative that while it's its own narrative is completely novel. Crazy Rock has a good rhythm. Especially at the beginning of the film, it has a fast and heartwarming rhythm. Although it is lost over time and sometimes the speed of the sequences slows down, 
but it comes back and excites the audience again. Film has eight plays, each with the name of the characters, but it seems that the plays aren't related to the respective characters. The film was made in 2014, when Facebook had just become popular in Iran. In fact, the first social media that became widespread in Iran was Facebook. This pervasiveness, however, did not last long. Facebook, which had been blocked, was soon replaced by Instagram and Telegram, applications that were not blocked at the time. However, Telegram was later blocked, and Instagram was about to be blocked several times. It is noteworthy that Instagram matched the visual sense of Iranians, which caused it to spread rapidly. The film refers to exactly the time when Facebook was at the height of its popularity. Internet relationships are usually not stable in semi-modern, semi-traditional Iranian society. They are full of lies and hypocrisy, maybe because using social media requires its own guidelines, which we Iranians do not have. Maybe it is social media's fault for allowing anyone to present him or herself as somebody else. After all, the crazy rock is formed in a bed full of lies of internet relationships. We see indirect criticism of social media. Before we reach the end of the film, let me mention the film awards. In the 33rd Fudge Film Festival received the Crystal Simok for Best Film, for Best Director, and for Audience Choice of Best Film. Fetch Film Festival is the most important cinematic event in Iran that has started since 1982. It is held in February every year which coincides with the anniversary of the victory of the Islamic Revolution. The ending of Crazy Rock is shocking and completes our amazement. It also is tragic and heartbreaking, but the director's idea was something different. Abul Hassan Dawoodi film director later said, The ending of Crazy Rock was misunderstood. When Pirus falls and speaks as the narrator, he finally says, And my lies. I put this as a clue for the viewers to understand that this ending may also be one of Pirus's lies. I think this director's explanation probably did not cross the minds of any viewers of the film. A year after the film was shown in movie theaters, when the home version of the film was released, it had a different ending. After the credits roll, another end is seen. There is a post credit scene. The second ending is not as tragic as the first. But it seems this ending will convey the director's idea better. Crazy Rock shows the madness of young people, who continue to joke to the point of insanity, no matter how smart they are. They will eventually lose their lives on the chessboard of life. Conclusion, do not play with knife, even if it does disappearing blood.